the ancient streets of the city of London fill to the sounds of anger. It was predicted and promised by some. As thousands reached the Bank of England at its centre, it erupted. A battle of wills between a massive police force and smaller but determined groups of protesters. Hijacking any peaceful intent and goading whenever possible. Bloodied men gesturing at the police. Crowds shouting in anger and unified chanting. It's lasted for hours, demonstrators pushing and shoving the police line. Some trying to get onto the Bank of England steps. Get your units to regroup on that footway. Bob! Get your units to regroup on that footway. One, four, two! Two, four! Others trying to get out and unite in larger numbers. Occasionally, the pushing turned more violent. A police officer smashed over the head. and demonstrators hit with truncheons as they tried to break the police lines. The bank's governor, Mervyn King, was still apparently at his desk. City workers watched as thousands passed beneath them. It's reported some waved wads of banknotes, doubtless from the safety of their offices. The Royal Bank of Scotland building fast turned into a symbolic target of the anti-capitalist demonstrators. It wasn't long before its windows were smashed. Demonstrators dancing through the shattered glass with glee. As police sensed an area was getting too dangerous, they moved in reinforcements, men and horses. The police obviously decided that this part of the Bank of England is becoming a little bit troublesome, and they brought the horses in. And of course, the crowd have now moved towards them, which is scaring the horses, and it raises the temperature, if you like, as people now, as the police then calm it down and try to control the crowd again. But obviously, they've decided that this area of the bank is getting out of hand. Thousands of people have been involved in this first day of action. For many, it was simply a show of solidarity, not violence. This particular march is to show solidarity for people who are homeless right. and also people who are kind of nationless as well. Right. So it's very much about kind of being against borders. The cause is all the same. It's the people who are pulling the strings, who are financing backing all the governments across the world, or the rich world anyway. Russell Brand made an appearance, but seemed somewhat reticent about his involvement. Can you just explain why you've come here today? I'm here for the same reason as everybody else. Specifically what? What angers you? Hey, listen, mate, I'm just here participating. Get yourself across there now. However, in this get heated atmosphere, even the totally innocent can get drawn in so very quickly. I think everyone's fed up with, with what's happened, really, um, with the world economy and how little democracy there is and how, how little say we actually have in how our taxes are spent. And... I don't know if you going to get Day one of the demonstrations designed to bring the city to a standstill. Many will consider this mission accomplished. But the police, too, will feel satisfied. Violence, yes, but totally controlled. A massive lockdown, expensive, but ultimately contained.